Welcome everyone out of the woo here. Caution, do not enter. If you do, severe tire damage could be caused by these little spiky things right there in the middle of the road next to the traffic and this gargantuan, awesome, fantastic rocket. Rocket man! And it must have been a long, long time. That is impressive. Right here next to this major thoroughfare in Southern California. I passed this a few times by driving down this road. In fact, you can actually see what road it is. Check this out. I-5 South is that way. A road by the name of Main Street is that way. Look at the rapid amount of cars rapidly going by at a rapid pace. Oh my gosh. You would think that those cars are going at the speed of a rocket just like this, but they're not. A rocket goes a lot quicker than those cars, but look how fast these cars are driving. It almost seems very dangerous to be vlogging here next to this freeway interstate, but I think we're protected by this chain link fence. So if a car does divulge itself off the road and goes towards us, we're protected by this very slender piece of metal fencing. Seems legit. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo Southern California Edition, the Delta 3 Rocket. That is awesome. Look at the jet propelling propulsion system just dangling right there. The nether regions of this historic rocket are just right there dangling down between these two poles. You got to wonder if anyone driving by here is interested in the history of this rocket built by the Boeing company. The first Delta rocket was launched in 1960. This series has been NASA's workhorse for commercial, exploratory, and military satellite delivery. Awesome. And since these vlogs are now in high definition HD, if you will, you can actually see the nooks and crannies and the electrical goodness that is festooning itself underneath the bottom of that rocket. Let me get a little bit farther back and actually show you the magnitude, the size of this bad boy. Look at that! You see my van is parked over there. There's actually a security guy in a security car at that mall. I'm not really sure what the name of that mall is, but I don't know if he was checking my van out over there. Hopefully I'm allowed to park at that mall because we're not allowed to park in here because there are those spiky tire doohickeys. You can see that car going in over. Luckily, it's exiting and not entering. There's some sort of science center right around here as well. And they obviously want you to pay admission. But I did not want to go to the science center quite today. I just wanted to show you this. I'm out running some errands, still getting some stuff for my new home. I'm going to go thrift shopping today. I was going to go to Salvation Army today. But I realized today is Sunday. And Salvation Army is actually a church-run organization. Salvation Army is closed. One good thing about Salvation Army, though, for future thrift historians like myself, Salvation Army, in my opinion, is one of the best commercial franchise thrift stores because there is no tax because they are a church organization. Salvation Army, if something is $100, it would actually be $100, 7% sales tax, 8%, 9% sales tax, normal sales tax in the area that you live in is non-existent at Salvation Army. So if something is $100, you would hand them a $100 bill and walk away. I don't know what you're going to buy at a Salvation Army for $100. I'm just using the $100 example as an example for you. But look at this awesome, fantastic magnitude of that rocket. Moment of quietness. Just so you can soak it the wonder and the glory of that rocket and the sights and sounds, of course, of the interstate freeway, as they call it here in California. 
California? California, the freeway. All right, moment of quietness now. Enjoy this right here. My shadow is right down there, see it? I'm gonna try to hide behind my shadow, hide my shadow behind this pole. Look at that. Moment of quietness starts right now. All right, now this is the point where you think the vlog is going to end. Adam is going to tell, tell us about his adamawoo.spreadshirt.com. Adam is also going to tell us about how you, me and you, vicariously together, this is the part where you're thinking Adam is going to tell us now at the end of the vlog that you can get a t-shirt on adamawoo.spreadshirt.com delivered straight to my house, which would be your house because you're talking to me. And this is where I would say, please subscribe to my main channel, Adam the Woo, as well as the daily channel. I do a different edited vlog every single day. Stuff just like this. But don't be fooled. This Sunday edition, this awesome rocket edition of the vlog is not the title of the vlog, nor is it the most exciting part of the vlog. Prepare yourself now for a secondary awesome explosion. I'm talking about the head non-nether regions of a space shuttle, shunk a gunk a gunk gunk. The head of Endeavor, shunk a gunk a gunk 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 gunk. Head of a space shuttle here in a parking lot. It's the head of the space shuttle Endeavor in a parking lot. I thought this was very bizarre. I'm not sure if this is the actual head of the space shuttle endeavor i'm thinking it's not but it's still absolutely majestic and awesome and a lot of people don't notice it because they're focusing in on the rocket which you and i have been doing when they're driving down this freeway most of them going over the speed limits just like they're pretending to be the rocket maybe the rocket is actually helping them harness their speedy ways they're looking at the rocket and they fail to notice this Look at that. What is going on out here in this parking lot? That woman over there. There's actually a woman getting in her car. I am very excited and yelling and screaming. She's looking at me like I am a complete madman. This is awesome. It's an actual space shuttle. All right, we're going to actually get some facts here. I'm going to stop imagining that I know what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to read it's an Endeavor model. This is a model of Endeavor's forward section from the nose cap to the wall of the payload bay. Up to seven crew members could live and work in this section. Look at this. The nose cap, the cockpit, and the payload bay. The payload bay is gone. It would be where that woman and that child would have been. But I am placing my hand on a recreation, if you will, the nose area of a space shuttle. What? Awesome. And here's the rescue hatch, rescue hatch, and rescue latch. You would just pull that down, hop out of this if there was an error of some sort. Last thing you want when there's a space shuttle is to have an error happening. You do not want errors when you are traveling through space endeavor. Absolutely cool. One of these days, I need to actually go inside the Science Center right over here and check out what they have inside. NASA Space Shuttle Program. Now, I'm actually drawing a blank. About a month or two, let's say about two months ago, in Florida, on the coast of Florida, Scott Eukin and I did a video of a space 
shuttle that was harnessing from the roof. What was the name of that space shuttle? I don't think it was the Endeavor, or maybe it was the Endeavor. I am so caught up in a moment of excitedness because I have never seen the back nether regions of a recreation space shuttle nose before. So look up that former video. Scott Yukin and I, about two months ago, went to NASA, Cape Canaveral in Florida before I came out to California, before I made the cross-country trek. What was the name of that space shuttle? Was it the Endeavor? I, my NASA, my NASA history is going in one ear and out the other. The beauty of these unedited vlogs is half the time I don't remember what I'm supposed to say or what I'm trying to say or what I should say. Cut here for emergency rescue. So this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please subscribe. Goodbye.